On this episode of Tinkering with Tony, we put the final touches on his motor, installing the valve covers and the rocker arms. Watch it all here on Tinkering with Tony. Today we're going to put the valve train on, bush rods, rocker arms, get that all buttoned up, put some oil in it, and hopefully see if we can get this baby pump some oil out prime everything up because you should prime a motor you shouldn't just start it dry it's not good to do it dry we'll start with putting the push rods in the holes here's my push rods they're all nice and clean they do not have holes for oil because Ford doesn't believe in that what you got to do now is to make sure you get it into the field of lifter you got to feel the lifter because if you miss it and it's not in there right and you tighten this down, you got to bend that push rod. Feel the lifter thing. Right there, I can't feel the lifter. What I do is I spin it because this is a ball and the, the hydraulic lifter's got a little socket like. And I spin it so I can feel it. If it spins pretty smooth, you know you got it in there. If it's kind of coarse, that means you don't have it in there. But this spins nice. It spins really nice. Okay, another thing you got to look forward to when you're putting this together. The third bolt, third hole. One, two, three, or one, two, depends on what side you're looking at. On his side, it's back there. Here it's here. That's the oil hole. That's where the oil comes up and feeds these rockers. You gotta make sure that in that third hole you have the right bolt. If you look, you can see the difference between the bolts. See how this one's thinned out, hogged out? That's to allow oil to go through it. Otherwise, this would restrict it. This doesn't. So you gotta make sure this is in the right hole, and it isn't. See, now I'll put that in the right hole. Then this baby goes on here, like so. Make sure everything is in position. started that one started look at that are we doing good today every day, <laughs> not every day. Trust, me. <laughs> trust me not every day now you gotta do this gradually you can't just hunker it down because you can bend this shaft and heaven knows you don't need a bent shaft Uh, I don't like this because it's super close to the side. I just want to make sure it's in because it could be the, the way the intake manifold is made. So I'm going to take a light here. See if I can see if it's inside the push rod. And it is. Okay. That one in, yep, that one's in. That one's in. It's all in. Just looks weird to me because it's really close to the side of this hole. But then again, that could be the manufacturer of the intake manifold. They don't have the whole dead square. This one's offset too a little bit. I think yeah, you, you can't tell because you went out of bush right in there. Yeah. I'm, look how close this is to the intake manifold. The bush run. Oh, get out. You got that big hole. Well, this one's going to rub, it looks like.
take it, put my big wrench under, and we're gonna <laughs> see if she turns over. I'll get out of the shot. Here we go. Watch the valves. That one's moving. You see any on any that side moving? Yeah, two. There goes that one, too. Third. Now, now, let's try to get some oil pressure to see if we got oil, if everything's oil. Get your new filter. Special break-in oil. I like to fill the filter up with oil and then put it on the car. Wonder what color this oil is. Oh, it's regular clear. Red pen is green. This screws on here. Look at that, it even fits. I even got the right filter. Hand tighten they say. Yeah. That baby's ready to rock and roll. Put the rest of the oil in the oil hole. And I put four more quarts in there. That's the oil hole? <laughs> <laughs> well, the oil hole is right here. Hey, we should test. We should test those shields out, huh? Yeah, that's I like that. that. That's where that distributor goes. <laughs> The ignition. How many PSI do we have? We have 60. Oh, yeah, a little. Little too much. Let's go. That's all right. That's that. I think that looks beautiful. We got oil pressure to everything's getting oiled. You can see it dripping off and dripping off the motor. We had 60 PSI, which means Everything's tight. All the bearings are in the right places. We're golden. Now we can put the valve covers on. So I'm still debating silver or blue. Silver or blue. I think I'm going to go with blue because that's my color. Blue. Look at that. See, I think blue is the color. What do you think? I'll yeah. go with blue. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. I'll go with blue. What do you like? Blue. Blue. Does it Ford? Blue? That's right, hold it like a baby. Yes, because that's my baby valve cover. <laughs> Look at that, see there? You put them in the little doodads there, then holds it right in place. It's supposed to hold it, but it never does. It's always it falls off. I never had the luck. But I did find out what you got it should do. Is take a little silly putty and you want to put it where this gasket's coming out. You can see the intake gasket comes out. So you put a little dab will do ya. Just like that. There. So this you hear when it squeezes it, it actually seals it. You hear that? When you squeeze it. It seals it. Let's see how good I am putting this on. <laughs> Look at that, folks. Valve cover bolts. See that? Got all ready. Everything's marked and ready to go. I know. I'm just such a good guy. Well oiled machine. Both of you. <laughs> <laughs> so now the motor is finished it's ready to go into the falcon the falcon will be in here tomorrow 
and I will start working on that tomorrow and this baby will be going in and that's it boom, 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 boom. I'm tinkering with Tony <laughs> yeah baby <laughs>